everybody. I am back. I can see that my webcam has already reverted its settings to uh, being a shadow. But I'm going to do a quick Sunday morning walkthrough of the baseball slate while I uh, update my webcam. As you can see, lots of sunburn going on here. I had an uh, excellent day at the beach yesterday. So sorry to anyone that is not experiencing 70 degree weather in the beach. Um, it was outstanding. Anyway, we got a big slate, and most of these games look like they're going to be in good shape. Um, 12 games, only one that really has any weather issues is going to be uh, Boston and the Rays. I'm going to assume that they play, but they might not play until very late. So keep an eye on it, but they're not a game I'm targeting. It's maybe 50-50 that they play. Uh, at best so let's dig in um i'm just going to give abbreviated thoughts on each game uh, i'm not going to dig in too deeply and then i'll show you the two crunches that i did uh, orioles and tigers orioles 4.9 run implied total tigers 4.1 59 chance to win for the or orioles uh, kevin gaussman and daniel norris pitching in this one i don't have too much of a problem going with some gaussman but uh, neither one of these guys are guys that I'm going to be using in a, a major amount of lineups. Uh, Orioles stack, on the other hand, uh, they made the Spotlight Stacks article today. I love everybody. Um, DraftKings in particular, uh, I think you can make a case for like anyone in the entire lineup. You know, Caleb Joseph is 2300 to get a catcher in. His stack is fine. I love uh, I love Danny Valencia today. Made the spotlight hitters. Uh, Trey Mancini could have, um, you know, Manny Machado could have. I like Adam Jones. Everything just looks really good here. Um, I'll have a ton of Orioles. They'll be my most popular stack. I won't really be looking at any Tigers bats. Um, just don't really like the implied total for them. Briefly, just touch on the Red Sox and Rays. Uh, you know, it's a big implied total for the Red Sox, 5.1 runs, 3.4 for the Rays, 67% chance to win uh, for Rick Porcello uh, and the Red Sox against Matt Andrees and the Rays. Um, I, I can't recommend taking either pitcher here. They, uh, they're probably not going to play, but if they do, uh, I think Porcello is an okay option, but you want to make sure that he's not going to, you want to make sure the weather is over. Um, so if this just gets delayed and they start at like three or something like that, um, and it looks like the game can get in, then uh, I don't mind Porcello. But you don't want any chance of him going in and then coming back out. Red Sox bats, um, you know, they're expensive. Uh, they're not a stack that I'm going to get to all that often, but uh, they're obviously a stack that could look good here. You're just going to have to pay the full freight. So if you're paying down for pitching tonight, you can fit the Red Sox in. But it might be tough if you have to pay up. Uh, Blue Jays and Rangers. Blue Jays, 5.4 run implied total. Rangers, 3.6. It's a 68% chance to win for the Blue Jays. J.A. Happ going for Toronto. Martin Perez going for the Rangers. Um... You know, we, we bag on, uh, Jake and I bag on Martin Perez, Martin Perez, sure, uh, pretty regularly. Um, and with good reason. He's not very good. And that makes me love the Blue Jays here. Highest implied total on the slate. Um, you know, you could really make a case for any bat. I love Pierce. I love Hernandez. Uh, I love Smoke, Pilar, Russell Martin, Kendry's Morales. Morales and Martin could have made... Uh, the spotlight hitters article over Steve Pierce. Um, they were popping up pretty much the exact same amount. I just tend to uh, skew towards the top of the lineup. Um, Blue Jays will be my second most popular stack. Uh, you can basically say that Orioles are 1A and Blue Jays are 1B. Uh, but I love the Blue Jays a ton here. I want no part of any of the Rangers bats. And J.A. Happ is actually uh, my number one pitcher of the slate. Um, he's the guy that I want the most of and we'll have the most of just very little worried about to worry about in the Rangers lineup. Um, he should be able to handle the lefties quite well. And then uh, all of the righties just really uh, unimpressive. So J.A. Happ's my favorite pitcher. 
Blue Jays are essentially my favorite stack along with the Orioles. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of that game. Marlins and Rockies. Marlins 3.8 run implied total. Rockies 4.2. It's a 54% chance to win for the Rockies. Um, Caleb Smith going for the Marlins. Chad Bettis going for the Rockies. I don't really, I mean, like, I definitely don't want either pitcher in this game. Um, some people might go to Caleb Smith if you wanted to pay all the way down. I, I don't see that. Uh, he just does miss a lot of bats, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. Just not a direction I would want to go. I would prefer to take a look at the Rockies bats. Um, specifically, LeMahieu, Arenado, Story, and Ionetta. I think those four guys against the lefty are in a really, really nice spot. Uh, prices are, are perfect so you can get those four guys they don't have the same sort of depth of stack as the uh, blue jays or the orioles but those first four you know getting a second baseman a third baseman a shortstop and a catcher particularly on dk um that's a super good allocation of resources so i do like the rocky stack and uh they're popping up around third or fourth in uh, both of my crunches a little bit more on FanDuel than on dk or maybe the opposite of that yeah, probably the opposite of that. More on DK. Not the biggest implied total in the world for the Rockies, so this one might be a little under-owned, which uh, makes me like it even more. Uh, Indians and Mariners. Indians 4.5 run implied total. Mariners 4.3. It's a 52% chance to win for the Indians. Josh Tomlin going uh, for Cleveland. Marco Gonzalez going for uh, Seattle. Not looking at either of the pitchers. Um, not even really looking at either of these two teams from a stack perspective. If you want to look at it, you'd be looking at the top five guys on the Mariners on DraftKings. I think that's the best allocation of price. If you're looking at anything from the Indians, a uh, similar scenario, you want you know, the top four of the Indians. But these are not two teams where I'm going to have a ton of their uh, stacks. Pirates and Cardinals. Pirates 4.1 run implied total. Cardinals 4.2. It's a 51% chance to win for the Cardinals. Nick Kingham going for Pittsburgh and Luke Weaver going for the Cardinals. Luke Weaver, uh, spotlight pitcher for me today. Second favorite pitcher, I would say. Uh, coming up a lot if you're looking to pay down a little bit. Pirates. Uh, not the scariest lineup in the world. Uh, Weaver does have the ability to miss some bats, and I think he's just slightly underpriced. Uh, he grows, grades out really well on FanDuel and DK. Um, probably the best dollar-for-dollar dollar pitcher on FanDuel, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, he's a guy that I'm going to have a decent amount of, and I assume that I'll be higher than the field on him, particularly on FanDuel. Uh, from a hitter perspective, I'm not looking at the Pirates or the Cardinals tonight. Um, I think that you can use Matt Carpenter in a one-off scenario and be fine. Um, but other than that, I probably wouldn't be touching much of anything here. Just Luke Weaver. Nats and D-backs. Uh, Nats, 3.7 run implied total. Diamondbacks, 3.5. 53% chance to win for the Nats. Uh, it's Gio Gonzalez going for Washington. Robbie Ray going for Arizona. Uh, if I'm paying up for a pitcher today, it's Robbie Ray. Uh, the Nats have had uh, some trouble with lefties this year, not creating a lot of hard contact at all, um, which should play right into Robbie Ray's hands. Uh, you know, some of the best lefty stuff in baseball. So if I'm paying up, while it might seem like a situation where you wouldn't necessarily want to run into the Nats bats, I'm willing to take my chances. Um, so Ray would be the guy that I would pay up for out of all the you know more expensive pitchers. The, uh, you know, Cole, Berrios, Ray, Porcello, Tier, um, Ray would be my guy. Nats, Bats, and Diamondbacks. Bats uh, don't really want either side of this. Um, you know, I could see if you're fading Ray, I can see doing a, uh, a Nats stack, but these are not two guys that I'm going to want, or not two teams I want to have much of. Implied totals, both significantly under four. Uh, those are just not games I usually tried to seek out from an offense perspective Phillies and Braves Phillies 4.5 run implied total Braves 4.0 it is a 55% chance to win for the Phillies Vince Velasquez going for Philadelphia Brandon McCarthy going for Atlanta um, 
similar to just about every time he pitches. Uh, I like Vince Velasquez here. I think he grades out really nicely on FanDuel and makes for a, a perfectly acceptable second starter on DraftKings. Um, always, you know, a guy that could pick up K's, 9.8 K's per nine rate as projected by Steamer right now. Uh, they look really nice. Uh, same for a Philly stack. 4.5 run implied total is, is good enough for me. Uh, so I would go Hernandez, Santana, uh, Herrera. Uh, I like Aaron Althair a little bit more than um, I probably should on FanDuel, but 2700 is a is a prime price. Um, I don't normally like paying up for Reese Hoskins on FanDuel. Uh, he just doesn't have the best price. But, you know, if you're stacking up, he comes along for the ride. Actually has a pretty nice price on, uh, on DraftKings. So you can go, man, all the way down to 7 in my opinion, on DraftKings. So any one of those first seven guys all the way through Franco would be a direction I would go. And then for the Braves, I don't really see it all that much. You can make a case for the first four on DK because uh, you're getting the righty-lefty matchup. Um, but I'm going to lead on lean on the side of Vegas here and uh, go with more Phillies. Astros and A's. Uh, Astros, 4.7 run implied total. A is 3.3, which is the lowest on the slate. Uh, Garrett Cole, 66% chance to win uh, for the Astros. Trevor Cahill going for the A's. Uh, It was a toss-up for me between Ray and Cole, but ultimately I think I'm leaning towards Ray because I think he'll have less ownership, and uh, I think he's in a slightly better spot, actually. Uh, Most people probably won't agree with that, but... You know, comparatively to price, I mean, um, just makes me want Ray a little bit more. Uh, no way would I touch any A's bats. I think that's a suicide mission. But Astros, uh, they're stackable. They're just always expensive. Um, they look better on DraftKings tonight than they do on FanDuel. I probably won't end up with a ton of them. But 4.7 run implied total. Nothing to, nothing to shake your head at. Twins and Reds. Uh, Ooh, I'm missing somebody on the Reds. Let's figure out who that is while I talk a little bit more. Um, I want to give a shout out to this Reds lineup. Uh, Friday night, you were very, very good to me. And I want to uh, let you know that I appreciate it. So thanks to the Reds. I don't know where they're at right now on here. Who's hitting sixth for the Reds? I miss this game. Where is the Twins Reds game? Twins, Twins. There it is. Okay. So I am missing. I have Scooter Jeanette in at six. I'm missing Shebler at six. Stupid Reds. <sighs> Great production value here for everybody. Jeanette goes to the four hole. Shebler to six. Alrighty. Twins and Reds. Twins, five run implied total. Reds, 3.7. It's a five run implied total for the Twins. 63% chance to win for Minnesota. Uh, Jose Barrio going for Minnesota. Tyler Molly going for the Reds. Uh, I don't like Barrios at all tonight. Um, he's a guy that I won't have any of, in my opinion. Uh, if he pops up in one lineup, I'd be very surprised. Uh, but I don't really like Barrios at all. It just does not grade out for well for me uh, in this particular system. I think his price is a bit too high. Uh, twin stack, on the other hand, looks super tasty. Um, you know, Maurer, Rosario, Kepler, all guys I want to have a ton of. Um, Dozier and Sano both have excellent pricing. Uh, I'm, I'm more than okay with having some twins. Uh, I think they'll end up being a popular stack for me. Uh, once all the lineups are set in stone, you know, they'll probably be my third or fourth highest stack. Right in that range with the Rockies. Uh, I don't want any Reds tonight. If I had to take anybody from the Reds, it would be Votto. But it's just not a direction I want to go. I need some coffee. I'm trying to run through this too much. I haven't had, I've had like, what, two ounces? It's depressing. Oh, good. Royals and White Sox. Royals, 4.2 run implied total. Uh, White Sox, 4.8. 
It's a 55% chance to win for the White Sox. Ian Kennedy going for Kansas City. Hector Santiago going for the White Sox. Uh, it's a no-go pitcher matchup for me. Won't have any of these guys. From a hitter perspective, um, I'd be in for a White Sox stack. Moncada, Sanchez, Abreu, Delmonico all look really good at the top of the order. Um, if you wanted to fit in uh, Wellington Castillo, I think that's fine as well if you need a catcher. Um, Nick Delmonico in particular has a very nice price on FanDuel, $2,300. Uh, White Sox snack. snack. That's, I think that's the second time I've done it on the White Sox. White Sox stack looks pretty nice. Uh, Royals, I think, can be a nice stack on either site. Uh, like Whit Merrifield... Um, Salvador Perez, Soler, you know, Abraham Almonte is not a guy that I really want to have much of, but you know, Cuthbert I think could be a part of it. It would be a, a relatively unpopular stack, but I think there's some merit in having a line or two with them. Final game of the main slate, Cubs and Brewers. Cubs 4.7 run implied total, Brewers 3.8. It's a 59% chance to win for the Cubs. Tyler Chatwood uh, going for Chicago. Zach Davies going for Milwaukee. Uh, it's a no-go pitching matchup for me. Not to, not guys that I'm looking to get to. Uh, if I'm looking at anything here, it would be more along the lines of a Cubs stack. Um, Almora, Baez, Bryant, Rizzo, and then Wilson Contreras is probably as far down as I would want to go. If I needed a shortstop, Addison Russell, I think, is fine if he's coming with, um, you know, Rizzo, Elmora, and somebody else. So, I'd go for the Cubs. 4.7 run implied total is pretty nice. Um, not much to love on the Brewers. I'd take a look at Christian Yelich as a one-off, but that's probably it. So... My FanDuel crunches had 45% HAP. Then 18% Weaver, 13% Cole, and then 9% Robbie Ray. Ray is owned a little bit more on DK. That's why he made the uh, spotlight pitchers list as well. But really like Hap tonight. He's the guy for me. <laughs> I'm going to regret that one. Uh, Orioles and Blue Jays are the most popular stacks for me here. Uh, the Twins coming in third. And then you start to see the Rocky stack popping up in here. Um, Barring any major changes to this stuff, I would expect the Orioles and the Blue Jays to dominate this unless they swap out five guys in their lineup. And even then, they might still be here. So those are the those will be the main directions I'll be going on FanDuel. On DK, it's a little tighter at the top for pitching. 48% uh, Hap, 38% Ray, 35% Cole, 26% Weaver, 18% uh, Gaussman, 17% Velasquez. Um, I'm cool with all that. Like, you see 3% Barrios, uh, you know, that would be probably the max I would want to see there. Uh, you'll, you know, Blue Jays and Orioles dominating the tops of the stack section. I think a Diamondback stack is looking a little sneaky on DK. It's not someone I really touched on, but Rockies are there. Uh, but all my bread's getting buttered by Orioles and Blue Jays. Whew. I ripped through that pretty quick. Um, check out the Spotlight Hitters, Pitchers, and Stacks articles on uh, Osimo.com. They are all out uh, by the time you're reading this. Um, like and subscribe to the video and this channel. That's very helpful for us. We will be back tomorrow. Business as usual, myself and Jake. Uh, and then Monday night, uh, live stream, myself and Chris. So tune into all of that. We'll be back to normal tomorrow on Monday. Please enjoy your Sunday. Finish off your weekend strong. Uh, best of luck, guys.